hi intermediates, hi seniors. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about um, one of the drama practitioners we will look at um, over the next coming term, and that is uh, Stanislaski. Um, now, for those of you who do medals, you will work on uh, looking at various different theatre practitioners. Now, Stanislaski um, was one of the most famous drama practitioners um, of all time. Stanislaski was an actor, a director and a theatre practitioner who in the late 19th century became very, very disillusioned about acting and how everything was based around melodrama. How sad an actor could be, how angry an actor could be. Um, and it was all a case of everything was very melodramatic. Um, and he became really, really disillusioned with this. And Stanislavski thought, hang on a moment, there's got to be a better way of tapping in to emotion. So let's look at, in my opinion, um, the five most important Stanislavski techniques. Emotional memory. Don't just assume that you will automatically be able to tap into your own emotion. Um, so if you're in a scene where something is very, very sad, that all of a sudden you're going to be able to portray this super sad character and be able to burst into floods of tears immediately. What Stanislavski wanted us to do was to tap into real emotion. The method of physical acting. What Stanislavski wanted us to do was to look at the mannerisms and the physical appearance of the character. And he wanted us to look at their physical attributes. He did not want us to stereotype people. So, for example, if we have, um, we have an old lady or an old man, Magic if. So uh, Stanislavski wanted us to think about um, situations and scenarios and not just automatically assume that we could just walk straight into these situations and immediately act. So for example, if you were on a long bike ride and um, you happen to witness an accident, you know, how how would you feel? How would you react if you saw someone being seriously injured? So it's all about what if, not assuming I know how to act here, I know how to put this in place. It's all about what if. Tip number four, units. Um, breaking things down into manageable pieces. We use this all of the time with every production that we do with Acting Up. Um, we start at the beginning and we work on things scene by scene and we break a huge large script up into sections and we do this by looking at individual scenes, breaking them down into small manageable pieces. And one of the things Stanislavski put in place was if you are acting um, a specific character in a, in a play or a musical, so for example, if you were um, playing Fagin in Oliver, every time that Fagin comes on stage and then exits, that would be classed as one unit. So you break it down uh, into manageable pieces. 
And finally, what is your character's objective? What is the purpose of your character? If you if you assuming that you can be angry immediately, Stanislavski really believed that all you were doing was putting um, an idea forward of how to be angry. You really need to think about your character's objective, their purpose, why are they there, what has happened in the scene, um, what has happened after the scene, what is their purpose, what is their objective. And if they are angry, then again, draw from natural experiences and real experiences. But very, very, very important uh, is to remember the objective and the purpose of your character. Don't just put your idea of how to be angry forward or how to be sad. This is my interpretation. This is my idea of a sad person. Really, really think carefully, draw on experiences and think about the objective and the purpose of your character. Hope this has helped.